and welcome you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut one-sided booboo what this simply means is that you are going to have one side in form of booboo and you are going to have your the other side as your basic gown so note that you are to determine where you want your booboo to fall and what part you want your normal arm to fall but whichever you are still going to follow the same process and the same procedure. So don't forget to join us on Facebook, TD Designs, and on Instagram, TD Designs. Follow our website. I'm going to put down the details in the description box where we have amazing fashion illustration. So what are the basic measurements required? We have our shoulder measurements, bust, waist, hip, and our gown length. Our shoulder measurement is 14 inches. Note that we are going to make use of two shoulder measurements. Now the first shoulder measurement simply is going to end at this part where we are going to have our normal shoulder which is 14 inches and we are also going to take another shoulder and that other shoulder right is used to determine how long you want your booboo to fall now let me just come over again now because this is one sided booboo it simply means that one part of your booboo is going to be like your basic gown and the other side of your arm is going to give you the form of your booboo effect so let's say we are going with this arm for our normal booboo that is when we require 14 inches for this part right because that's like our basic um shoulder measurements normally now for where your booboo is going to fall you will determine how long you want your booboo to be another way you can do that is simply adding your sleeve allowance to your shoulder allowance to determine how long you want your booboo to be note that if you want your booboo to be a long one go ahead and add the number of inches you want to your basic shoulder measurements but our normal shoulder measurements which we are going to be using for the normal side of our one shoulder booboo that is what we have as 14 inches so we have 14 divided by 2 we have 7 plus 1 inch for our sewing allowance we have 8 inches so 8 inches is going to be for one side right 8 inches is going to be for one side now for our second shoulder I'm going to go ahead and add 8 inches. That is, I want this booboo -boo arm to be longer with 8 inches. So I have 8 inches plus 8 inches, I have 16 inches. Now 16 inches plus my sewing allowance plus 1, I have 17 inches, right? So our first shoulder for the normal arm is going to be 8 inches. And for the other part where we want our booboo to fall, we are going to have 17 inches. So we are going to make it of two shoulders, right? Now our bust measurement is 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 10.5. Our waist is 32. 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 10. Our hip is 36, 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 10.5. Our gown length is 33, I'm going to go ahead and add 2 inches for my sewing allowance, plus 2 inches, I have 35 inches. So these are the basic measurements required. Now note that for the other part where you want your booboo, just go ahead and add as many inches as you want to determine the length. So that is that. Now with me here, I have my pattern paper. Now this pattern paper are available at our store and one thing I love about this pattern paper is it's about 60 inches long and it comes both in the brown also have the white okay and they are both available at our store so now let's move straight into the fabric first thing we have to do now is to go ahead and fold our fabric into four and we folded it into four now you will discover that this upper part of our fabric is closed and this other part is also closed so we'll go ahead and 
and take the first shoulder measurement which happens to be 20 inches so i've used my 20 inches for my shoulder measurement to fold my fabric and this is where we have 20 inches so i'm going to go ahead and mark 20 inches all the way down I will go ahead and cut this out cutting it out this is what we are going to have and you go ahead and use your gown length to mark your length so my length is 35 so this is what I have 35 inches for my length so I'm going to go ahead and notch this center front so I'm just going to use this chalk to indicate where we have our center front. Now we are going to go ahead and take our neckline which is three and a half inches. And for the deepness of the neck, I'm going to make use of five inches. I will go ahead and connect it together. So this is what we have so you go ahead and also indicate where you have your neckline on this other part so you mark your neckline which is three and half and then you mark the deepness of your neckline which is five and you connect it together once you are done with that, you go ahead and open this up. So by the time you open it up, you are going to have your full neckline. So you can see our full neckline because we marked it on both sides. Now you also determine what side you want to have as your booboo and what side do you want as your normal measurement. So I'm going to be taking this part for my normal measurement. Why I will leave this part to serve as my booboo because we use the measurements for our shoulder to get the length. So for this part where we want to achieve our normal shoulder, we'll go ahead and take our shoulder measurement. So we'll take our shoulder measurement which is seven inches starting from this center line. Now we go ahead and take our arm O, which is 9 inches. Our arm O to our waist, 9, 8 inches. That is bust to waist, 8 inches. Waist to hip, we have 9 inches. So we've marked the lines required. Now we are going to go ahead with our pattern master and connect this center front all the way down now the reason why i'm marking at the front is because so that the chalk can show on the fabric but if you want to do yours you mark at the wrong side of your fabric so i'll go ahead and extend my center line So this is what we have for our center line. Now from this center line, you go ahead and mark your measurement. From this center line now, we are going to go ahead and mark our bust measurements. Now because our bust measurement is 36, when you divide it by 2, you have 18. That 18 is simply for the front block. But because we are taking it one side this way, we are going to make use of 9 inches. So we go ahead and mark 9 and you add your sewing allowance to it. So this is what we have. So for our bust, our waist measurements, we have 32 which is 16 for the front block now divide it again into two because you are dealing with one side you have eight and then you add your sewing allowance to it so this is what you have so for our hip we have 18 divide it into two to get one side you have 
nine and you add your sewing allowance so this is what we have so we go ahead and connect the lines So this is what so this is what we are going to have now you make it of your arm o curve and connect your bust line to your shoulder line so we'll go ahead and cut this out you cut it out you can see our arm o and the basic block and for this side you just have like a straight part where we are where it's going to serve as our boo boo so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out our neckline what we are going to have so you can see the arm o our neckline at this other side you have your basic and at this point you have your boo boo so we'll go ahead and set this aside go ahead to m the neckline once we are done with that this is the part where we have our basic gown so we'll go ahead and stitch this part on the inside so this is what we are going to have So on this part where you have your basic gown, you turn it to the back and then you go ahead and stitch this part. So after stitching it, I will go ahead and M my neckline, my arm O. If you want yours to have a sleeve, you can go ahead and fix in your sleeve and I will show you guys what it looks like. Guys, we've gone ahead to stitch this other part from the inside because this is where we have our normal um, gown and for this part where we have our boo-boo for this other side where we have our boo-boo we are going to go ahead and take our measurement so our bust is 36 divided by 2 we have 18 so we mark 18 our waist is 32 divided by 2 we have 16 our hip we have 18 so we'll go ahead and stitch this on the front okay we are not turning it inside we'll just stitch it on the front this way after stitching it then we'll go ahead and M this other side all the way round and M the lower side of our dress and I'll show you guys what our one-sided boo-boo looks like hi guys so this is what our one shoulder dress looks like you can see the boo-boo effect on one side and on the other side we have our basic gown I went ahead to add lace fabric at the lower part just to spice it up a little and this is what our one shoulder boo-boo dress looks like thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.